welcome back to my channel. My name is Butle Lupino. And if you don't know me, hey sweetie, hey Toza Boza, um, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, you know. Just be part of the family, sis. Just be part of the family. Um, yes, I am back with another video. I told you guys I'll be back with another video. Look at me doing videos back to back, okay? Back to back. And me shooting the sit-down video. I'm actually doing a vlog also. I'm just consistent i'm just consistent anyway um let's first address the elephant in the room i look amazing i look great okay and something's different i don't know what it is you guys tell me in the comment down below what it could be hmm i don't know what it could be i honestly trying to figure out like what it could be we all know it's my new hair i'm blonde blondes have more fun they say we will see they say yes i am blonde i am looking amazing i'm loving my new hair i actually dyed it today and i like vlogged the whole experience and me just going through the most and asking Sibu to help me and it was just a lot it was just a lot so this has been part of my journey of like trying to experiment more with my uh, makeup with my looks and just trying to find who i am you know what i'm saying like be different because for the longest time i've been safe in my comfort zone and who i am and i still am that person but i want to give myself the chance to just change you know just try new things and be edgy and be the cool kid in the room do you know what i'm saying all the cool kids in the room normally have blonde hair okay blonde hair so the first step i obviously did was cut my hair i went bald which i did not hate and i slowly grew my hair and i went to brush cut and i was also comfortable with that and finally my hair was finally in a length that i was very comfortable with and guess what dyed it sweetie i dyed it um yes um i'm not particularly gonna say how long i'm gonna have this hair like i've been saying i think i'm gonna stop explaining myself but from here on i'm not saying anything else about my hair but you guys will be like whoa she looks different today something is different because i'm gonna be changing my hair constantly i might grow it out i might have braids again i might have blue hair who knows but this episode this chat today is all about confidence confidence sweetie i was watching one of my friends um youtube videos um her name is usam i'll put the link down below and she was talking about confidence and that's just sparked a conversation for me because i was struggling with confidence for the longest time like i'm the type of person to look in the mirror and be like girl you look good today don't get it twisted i know i look good but most of the time along the road your confidence can be shattered and things people say and how people look and representation and just not seeing enough people that look like you can shatter your confidence a little bit because you just feel very out of place and you're like am i supposed to be here i can't do certain things like other kids so do i belong here so a lot of times like my confidence is shut down and this is something i really want to share with people so that people know that you're not alone i mean if your confidence is on a hundred shout outs to you on good days my confidence can be on a hundred shout outs to me but honestly truly um dying my hair today a lot of it a lot of my confidence like not came back like there was a lot of worry where i was like oh my god like i've never um not never um most of the time women who are of complexion like i am don't particularly look good with um blonde hair but i was like you know what screw it like out of the door screw it because this is something i want to do for myself like if i hate it then i hate it like why should my confidence determined by other people's confidence 
but um these are the little things that like obviously i've been struggling with and obviously when i was gone i was just trying to gain courage and try to find out who i am just to share a little secret with you guys i've been constant i've been seeing a therapist um about a lot of things that have happened in my life when i was got to varsity and when i was younger and if you guys know that and you watch my previous videos you would know that um seeing a therapist has been part of my journey of finding who i am and just figuring out who i am and with that being said it's kind of brought back my confidence of who i am and you can kind of tell with a lot of things that are happening i wake up more i'm more confident i can walk around now with things that i never really wanted to do i'm back into like putting on makeup because again like i may not be the greatest like makeup artist but you know i'm gonna put it on because i can okay and i want to show a lot of people that you don't have to know how to do all these things about makeup you know makeup techniques even though i'm out here watching k yams mithali you know all my favorite beauty gurus and how like they do their makeup but i just want people to understand that not all of us have the technique i'm not guys like personally into it like my hands give me a lot of problems like dilikadala in the sense of i can't pluck my own wigs i literally have to pay people to do that for me do you know what i mean i'm not really talented in certain um areas of creativity but i know the spaces that i am um comfortable in and i am good creativity wise and one of them is talking i talk a lot and and maybe one of them is making a couple of people laugh you know saying <laughs> if you find my jokes funny or anything like that so um i've just slowly surely try to figure that out and that's also my confidence journey and i'm not gonna sit here and say you know what just because i don't know how to do it i'm not gonna do it best believe i'm gonna do it i'm gonna put on my makeup i'm gonna cut that crease okay cut that crease like k yams even though i can't i'm gonna cut it and if i get it wrong i'm gonna get it right the next time but at the same time i just want to tell my followers that it's okay if you can't do it there's other makeup techniques that you probably will be able to do like i like i have i found my comfort zone when it comes to um sorry the camera died and we had to um charge it for a while so that's why that's probably why the lighting is a bit different but anyway what i was trying to say is that um um i really had to work on my self-esteem and just build it up again on where it used to be or where it can be so that i'm confident enough to share so many things that i do want to share on my platforms with my chosa poses um because i've been holding back a lot and trying to um i had a lot of what will people say or will people really like this and i was like you know what it's about trying if you fail you fail if you don't if you do well that's even great and there's so many um other things i want to dab into and i was so afraid to say them out loud because it seemed very impossible or like that could never happen um for example like the one time i tweeted as a joke that i would love to like dabble into acting um and see like where that goes but even saying things like that feels so far-fetched because obviously people like look at you so differently and they're like oh will she be able to do that you know what i'm saying and even if i can't do it i'm like giving myself the room to be able to do it um that's just an idea of the things like i've been thinking about and things that i want to dabble into and i just want to use my platform as um what's the word i always forget these words what's the word like when you usefully use your platform like you use it to its full capacity yes i just want to use my platform to its full capacity to grow with you guys and you guys to grow with me and you guys be able to see like um if i can do it you can also do it you know what i mean like hopefully i can encourage you to also chase dreams or goals that you never thought that you would be able to and a lot of that comes from um just confidence and self-confidence so that's basically all i want to say i want to say you're beautiful you're amazing you're doing amazing the fact that 
um, through a pandemic, you're still like alive and just trying to do better it just means so much to me and a lot of people around you and i just want to let you guys know that don't give up you're doing great sweetie change your hair learn new things start a youtube channel don't start a youtube channel if you don't want to start new things just do anything that makes you um happy and don't be afraid of what people are going to say because there's a lot of that and also always remember like i said in my last video there is an audience for you and there will always be an audience for you and that's something i've learned i'm blonde today so my confidence is on a hundred but i was like hey man i feel good i want to put on makeup today and just talk to my people um i hope uh, you guys have heard me and you understand me and somehow this has encouraged you you know what i'm saying just let me know down below um what are your dreams what are your goals let's put it into the universe even if you don't want to share your dreams or goals just let me know if you have a dream or goal because you know um it's okay sometimes Sometimes to keep things to yourself until you figure it out because I also have dreams and goals that I'm keeping to myself until I figure it out um, also I want to say that if you have a YouTube channel just comment down below your YouTube channel maybe somewhere somehow if people do read comments like I do they can find your YouTube channel and we can just grow together as a community love you guys so much um and don't forget to be amazing because you guys are amazing you guys are my chosen bosses and you're doing amazing sweetie and just take your time and just know that at least one person loves you and that is me oh my gosh she's so sweet <laughs> love you so much bye